The fate of humanity is in our hands. No painting, just pain. Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Warhammer 40,000 Warp Forge. It's available on iOS and Android and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. Now this is a card combat game set in the world of Warhammer 40k. So if you are a fan of that series, if you are a fan of that franchise, then you'll be able to jump into this and see a lot of familiar faces, a lot of familiar themes. But if you have no experience with it whatsoever, as I don't, you can still get a lot from this because this is a very detailed, very visually striking, nicely animated deck building card battling game. Basically what we're doing is we are collecting cards, we are building our deck and we are trying to defeat our opponent. We can play against bots or we can play against other players in the world. Right now, I'm currently waiting for the other player to make their turn. They're going ahead and doing it. But as you can see, we have our deck on the bottom right. We have our hand in front of us. The characters, oh, we've just, done, we've just received some damage. Rather, not the characters, the cards that are sort of in the middle, that's what's being played right now. So right now, we have all these cards that we can play. It is our turn. We wanna do as much damage to them as we possibly can. The three, as you can see on our character, I'm gonna click right here. The three this is the melee attack. The one is the ranged attack. So you wanna make sure to know how you're gonna balance it, how it's gonna happen, the health points as well. All of them have different abilities as well. So you wanna try and make sure to play things well in order to get as much out of the way you the cards are dealt as possible. So with the Tide right here, if we put them out, we're actually able to cut out more cards that we get from the, but we didn't have enough energy to do so because we do have energy, it takes two energy on the right right now. We can't attack when we put a card out. We have to wait for the next turn in order to utilize using that card, but there are some cards that aren't necessarily character cards, they are more effect cards. And I think this right here, your next troop, this turn costs two less. Unfortunately, I didn't use that well, but I'm gonna go in for an attack right now. We've managed to hit them with three, and we received some damage as well. Click on the end of turn. Beautiful, that's the end of their turn. That's absolutely fine. Okay. So we'll wait for them to come back and hit us, see what they can do. When we attack them, it took it got, took three damage off them, but also they react in self-defense. So it's not just about chipping down one at a time. There is a big gradual, oh, there's a lot being taken away. So you really have to try and balance your team's health points. I'm just looking right there. So you're, okay, so I'm gonna play you going to cost two less to bring somebody out i do want to have the tide and i think if i put the tide over here are there any more coming out yes so then i can put another one out any more tide beautiful because the tide they just pull them out of the deck straight away and we can play them straight away now we've got one that we can put out i'm wondering what we can give the flanked okay so i'm going to put you here Good for you, beautiful. Now let's attack. I can't attack with you, I can attack with you, but I can also attack with our strong one in the middle. I'm thinking if I attack with you, that's the end of you. Yep, that's you gone. We're gonna attack right there. Beautiful, we are. We do have a little bit of advantage right now. We have 34 health points to their 31. As they're going through their turn, let me explain. This is a free to play game. I haven't come across any type of ads as of yet. There's no sort of ad wall as of yet, but you can spend real world money to purchase in-game currency, which you can then use to buy better cards, boost your deck, all of that type of stuff. So you have the option to spend real world money in order to get some advantages, or you can just keep on playing through right now. Okay, so now we've got four energy to use this turn. I'm just looking at the cards right now. If we do click on them, we do get a little bit more. Ephemeral give plus one melee attack, plus one range attack, and plus one health to a friendly troop. I like that. I'm thinking I'm going to put you in the middle. Why can't I, why can't I give to you? Okay, I'll give to you instead. Have a little bit more. Beautiful. Look at that. Four damage. Amazing. I could use that to get rid of their little side piece. And I think that's what I might do. I don't have the energy to put those out. I'm just going to, even though they are really strong, I'm going to get rid of that side piece because, yeah, I don't want them bolstering up. Now, if we click on the 
on the card we want to use, we can choose to use with melee, or we can choose to attack with ranged. Because it's the same, I'm going to go with ranged, because why not? Shoot at a distance, they are taken down, but unfortunately they attacked back. Ouch. But we can go in for the attack here as well. Now they're down to 25, I'm going to click on end turn. I'm fine with that. We are doing alright. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. But we're doing okay. As you can see there, there's a lot of voiceover acting within this. There's a lot of dialogue. So it does help to build the world. It does help to build the lore. If you are familiar with the series, then you will definitely get a lot of enjoyment from seeing familiar characters, from seeing familiar factions taking their place. Just wondering, any more tide? No. Okay. Now, the only one we can place here, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put you there. Nice, just a little bit more. Nice, thank you. A little bit more health, a little bit more damage. I can't attack with any of these Tide that have just come out, but that's absolutely fine. They're going to do some damage in time, and I'm wondering which one to get rid of. Um, let's get rid of... I kind of want to get rid of one of them. I'm going to get rid of you. Yep, beautiful. I'm going to get rid of you. I can't attack again because I've just attacked with them. So end turn. Whew. We can also end the turn early if we wish and not have to spend our points. We can save them because as you can see, some of the cards, they have higher points. Like I've got some which are seven here. They're really good to use and hold on to. And actually, I think maybe... Nice. See that little bit of retaliation? We did lose one, unfortunately, but chipped away at their health a little bit. I might hold back. Oh, saying that though. Let's see what these do. When a friendly unit triggers, sign up deal to a random en enemy. Hmm. That is really good. That is really good. And I'm thinking. Wow, look at this dude. Blade Guard veteran from the Ultramarines. Ouch, that's going to be a lot of damage right there. I, I kind of want to save for the next turn so we can put out a seven. Oh, is that risky? Is that too risky, my friend? It might be real risky, but I think I'm going to do it. Okay, let's chip away. Let's Who can we chip away at? A three and a one. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of this... Let's get rid of this unit here. Oh, I can only use the Vanguard. Is that what they said? Oh, okay, so I can only attack the Vanguard. But I don't want to, because look, they're doing six damage. That's going to be so much damage. Fine, we'll take one. We've chipped away at one. It did nothing. End turn. <laughs> that did absolutely nothing. Oh, I just sacrificed one. Do you remember me saying earlier that it was going well? <sighs> looks like they were playing the long game. It looks like they were playing the long game. Let's see how this turns out. But what I'm liking about this, I'm liking the animations on the cards. I'm liking the animations on some of the attacks as well. Some of the more special attacks do some like you know, big screen filling animations, but also the backgrounds. Look at the detail here. Look at all the little bits of movement, the little bits of bubbling in the foreground and background. It gives that real ugh, look to it, which a lot of Warhammer 40k has. I mean, my only experience of it is I've been to the shop a few times because I like looking at the figurines and I like looking at them and going, wow, look at all the detail that's here. Look at this world that's being created. You could definitely put so much time and imagination into building these worlds, which is incredible. And to see it realized, handheld like this, it must be a joy for fans, but it's, it's also a joy coming in for the first time. Okay, let's have a look. So I've got a lot of sevens right now. I could put out a two and a five, but I kind of want to play a seven. And that's what I'm gonna, I wanted to, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put out a seven. But that's all we can do, unfortunately. So who can I attack right now? Again, I can only attack them, but I don't want to because... Look! Look how much damage! Do you know what? I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be curtains for me on this turn. I'm going to have to end my turn right there. I ran out of energy points. Oh, I was really hoping in this video to show you a pleasant victory, to show you what it was like, but unfortunately, I think... This isn't going to end well. I've only just started building up the deck. 
I went through all of the tutorial, which is really good. It breaks it down exactly what you want to experience, exactly what you're bound to experience. But then you have the deck building mode, which is what we're in right now. And you get to choose your deck, build it up. But because you're only starting out, it's going to be weak. And that weakness uh, has led to defeat. So there we go. That was my defeat, unfortunately. But it's brought us back to the main screen. Let me show you exactly here. So we have the practice mode, the draft mode, which we're playing right there. And this is multiplayer. You can, again, go against people and you can get ranked on it. Our collection, jumping in with the cards that we've earned. Cosmetics, the deck. This is the different deck. We can create our decks, as I say. Create your deck and you can choose all different things. The rewards, you do get daily logins but also the more victories you get. As you can see right here, deploy five troops, completed, collecting the reward, we gained 100 campaign points. Great. And the campaign points right here, it progresses along, more rewards, the forge to get more unlockables, and the shop. As I said before, you can spend real world money. As you can see right here, you can purchase gold and that gold can be used to purchase crystals, which then can be used to purchase cards. Purchase boosters. You don't necessarily know what's in the booster. It's going to be drawn out, but you get all these different things in order to build up your deck and hopefully go for victory, which I didn't have, unfortunately. So yes, my friends, this has been Warhammer 40,000 Warp Forge. Let us know down below. What do you think? Will you be having a go at this? Are you a fan of Warhammer 40K? And are you excited to experience it in a new way? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, my friends, look and watch you all and catch you next time.